Okay, it's time to talk about how to handle what can appear to be a fairly complex problem, but which ultimately is actually relatively simple. Um, this question is number eight on your homework for worksheet dimensional analysis project, or practice. Um, as I work this out, I need to emphasize the numbers here are not the same as you have in your homework. They have been changed, so make sure not to copy this answer directly. But nonetheless, Here's how you answer the question. Uh, let's look at that first half. Calculate the velocity in meters per second for this fastball thrown at 116.1 miles per hour. Okay, if we're going to do that, we need to think about, okay, miles per hour, getting from miles per hour to meters per second. So miles per hour, 116.1 miles per hour. That's another way to write this same set of units. So in order to get to meters per second, what I need to do is, well, it's going to have to be two sets of conversions. Miles, I'm going to convert miles to kilometers and kilometers to meters. And now uh, at the bottom, we've got to get from hours to seconds. So miles to meters and then hours to seconds. Well, let's do that by converting hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. That way we wind up with uh, meters per second at the end. Okay, so let's do that. First this one, and then, uh, first these couple of changes, then these couple of changes. In fact, I'm going to have to have how many factors in here? One, two, three, four conversion factors. Okay, let's do it. 116.1 miles per hour. Okay, let's do this conversion first. Okay, convert miles to kilometers means that this is going to need uh, miles to kilometers on here. We're going to convert miles to kilometers. This way miles cancels miles. Um, then, going to convert kilometers to meters. This way we have meters on top, just as it needs to be for the final answer of meters per second. Next, we need to change this hours into seconds. So, okay, at this point I'd have miles cancels miles, kilometers cancels, mi cancels kilometers. I would have meters per hour, but I need meters per second. So here we go. We're going to need to convert meters, or sorry, um, we're going to have to convert uh, hours into minutes. Okay, notice hours on bottom cancels hours on top. Okay. Um, then, going to convert minutes to seconds. And they have a that will give a final answer um, in meters per second. Okay, time to plug in the numbers. Um, from your unit conversion sheet, there are a couple of ways to get from miles to kilometers. Um, I'll pick the one that says one mile is approximately equal to 1.61 kilometers. Okay, that's, a, that's approximate. Actually, the number is not really a 1.61. It's 1.61 and then a whole bunch of other decimals. So I'm just rounding to three for your convenience. So this means now that since I've rounded this to three figure, significant figures for your convenience, your answer is limited to no more than three significant figures due to this. Anyway, let's see. Kilometers to meters. Let's see. Kilo means a thousand. So one kilometer is a thousand meters. One hour is 60 minutes. One minute is 60 seconds. Okay, well, that'll take care of it. All I gotta do is calculate the answer. So, let's see what that looks like. 116.1 times 1.61 times 1,000 divided by 60 divided by 60 again gives that the final answer 51.9 meters per second. Now how do I know to round that to 51.9? Infinite significant figures because it's a definition. 
This is also a definition of infinite significant figures. Also a definition of infinite significant figures. Rounded for your convenience to three significant figures and four significant figures. Thus, three significant figures in the final answer. For the first half of this question. <laughs>